Hey guys, so we're going to start something a little new today. So we are going to practice rounding to the nearest hundred. And we have already practiced rounding to the nearest 10 when we were back um, on campus. So this is very similar, but I'm going to walk you through the steps and how to round to the nearest hundred. So I did put some steps over here. So step one, I want you to underline the hundreds. So underline the number in the hundreds column. We're going to practice this in a minute. So let's just do that first. Here's the number that we're going to work with right now, 268. Step one, underline the number in the hundreds column. So here we go. We know this is our ones, tens, hundreds. I'm going to underline that number. Okay, step two, I want you to write the hundred that would come above 268 and the hundred that would come below. So if you're counting by hundreds, so you've got 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. The number that would come above, the 100 that would come above 268 would be 300. The number that would, the 100 that would come below would be 200. So in essence, 268 comes between 200 and 300. So one of these hundreds will be your answer. So you will either round down to 200 or you will round up to 300. So we've gone through steps one and two. The next easiest way is to draw a picture. You know how we've been practicing those quick draws? So here we go. Let's draw 268 in a quick draw. So we've got 200, we've got six tens, and we have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the rule is that the tens, the tens are the boss. If you have five or more tens, you're always going to round up. If you have four or less tens, you're going to round down. So you can look at the picture. You can clearly see we have six tens, six tens. So we know that's five or more. So we're going to round up to the bigger number. So we're gonna go this way and round up to 300. Let's try another number. Let's try um, 400. 43. Okay, let's follow our steps. Underline the hundreds. So we're going to underline that number. And what are the numbers that, what are the hundreds that come below and above 443? Well, it comes between 400 and 500. And so one of these is going to be your answer. Okay, easiest way is to draw a picture, do a quick draw. So you've got four hundreds, one, two, three, four. You've got four tens and three ones. Okay, following the rules, if you have five or more tens, you're going to round up. If you have four or less tens, you're going to round down. So how many tens do we have? We have four. So four or less tells us to go down. So we're going to come down to four hundred. So if we're rounding to the nearest hundred, 400 would be our answer. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try uh, 175. Okay, we want to round 175 to the nearest hundred. Let's follow our steps. Let's underline our hundreds. Here we go. Let's write our hundreds below and above. So we've got 100 and we have 200. Remember, one of these will be our answer. Draw your quick draw. So we're drawing 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. We're really only concerned with the tens number. So we know we have seven tens, so if we're looking at our picture, seven tens. Five or more tens, you're going to round up to the higher hundred. Four or less, you're going to round down to the lower hundred. So, are we going to go up or are we going to round down? Seven tens, so we know five or more, you have to go up. So you will round up to 200. We're going to practice this all together um, on our Google Meet on Tuesday. So you'll get some more practice and question time then. But go ahead and um, watch this video a couple times if you need to, to kind of remind yourself of the steps and take your time and uh, just keep practicing.